there we're going to be able to paint on line learning in this video i want to show you how to draw a shift left and engineering drawing okay so if you're new to this channel just make sure you subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our next videos so if you are looking for other videos just click on the channel information go to the engineering drawing playlist and you're going to see plenty of videos so now let's get started so before you draw we have to make, we have to make sure that your pencil is very sharp and your canvas is tight and those its ways are clean okay so i'm going to draw a construction line and remember that a construction line is not bold okay after doing that i'm just going to mark mark end point along the line Okay, let me just try a vertical line here. Okay, now the length of our of our diagram is 110, without including the two circles, the two outside circles. So I'm going to measure 110 here, and we're going to project a vertical line here. But I want to first start by drawing these two circles that are on my left side. Okay, so the radius of the first circle is the diameter is 15. So if you say 15 divided by 2, we're going to get 7,5. I'm going to draw a circle here, which is a radius of 7. Same circle, which is a radius of 7,5. Okay, like this one. And I'm going to measure distance of 25 from this center point. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line right here. Okay. And using the same distance, I'm going to draw another same circle here. Which is a radius of 25. Which is a radius of 7.5. See the diameter is 15. And I want to join those two lines together. And use a set square or a ruler. And if you do that correctly, I'm going to obtain this. Okay, so I'm going to assume that the radius of that bigger circle is 15. Okay, so we're coming here. I'm going to construct that big circle. Control, I'm going to do the same. After that, I'm going to join these two points together. Okay. And from this point, I'm going to measure distance of 55. After that, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. Okay. okay, so for the first circle, I'm not given the radius, so I'm going to assume that the radius of the first inner circle is 15. Come here. I'm going to draw the inner circle. And I'm going to assume that the radius of the outer circle is 20. Sending here, I'm going to draw the outer circle. Okay, now I want to draw a curve which joins these two circles. Okay, and that curve is going to be an interior curve because it is it is enclosing these two circles. 
So what we do in Trinity area, in Trinity area case, we we subtract the radius of the cave from the radius of these two circles. So the radius of this circle is is fifteen. So I'm going to say fifteen hundred twenty minus fifteen, and I'm going to get one or five. So standing at this point, I'm going to draw an arc, strike an arc right here. And I'm going to say 120 minus the radius of this circle, which is 20. And I'm going to get 100. So I'm going to say, come here and strike an arc. And I've got 100. I'm going to open my canvas at 120. I'm going to draw a curve which joins this circle to this circle. And that curve has got an outline here. Okay. Like this one. And now I want another arc which is going to join this circle and this circle. And this arc is exterior. It is not enclosed in these two circles. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the radius of these two circles plus the radius of the curve. So if I say 90 plus 15 here, I'm going to get 105. So sending on this point, I'm going to strike an arc 105. And I'm going to say 90 minus 20, and that will give me 70. Sending at this point, I'm going to strike an arc. Okay, now I'm going to open 90. Which is the radius of that cave. I'm sending here. Now I want to draw a cave which joins this circle, this circle. And that cave is exterior because it's not enclosing these two circles. So what we basically do when we draw exterior, exterior caves, what we do with the radius. I'm going to say 15 plus 9. And I'm going to get 105. It's sitting right here. I'm going to strike an arc. And I'm going to say 90 plus the radius of this circle, which is 20. And I'm going to get 110. Standing here, I'm going to strike an arc. And this is my center point for the... And you open a gambas with a radius of 90, which is the radius the curve standing here I'm going to join those two circles okay like this and now what you want to do, I want to measure a distance of a distance of 70 of 70 from this point. Okay, so let's measure distance of 70 right here. And I'm going to construct a vertical line right there. Okay, and from this point, the 
just just elongate this line okay and from this point i want to measure a distance of so i think it's why it's if this line miss this line here yeah? i want to measure a height of 25 which is right here and not to construct country to a central line yeah okay so that means this is going to be a construction line okay then from this point with this event here, with the with this line, this vertical line, and this horizontal line means that it's going to be the center point of the smaller circle, which has a radius of the smaller circle, which is a radius of, of five. See the diameter is ten. Okay, and make sure that your canvas is very good, especially when drawing those small circles. Make sure that your canvas is tight. Okay, so I think this is the circle. And we have a smaller, a bigger circle, which is a radius of 12. Okay, this is going to be easy. Because the so there's a bigger radius compared to the smaller one. So here I'm going to just draw a same circle here. Like this. And we're almost done. What we want to do now. I'm just going to project this line. Turn what? like this and another line okay you can just ignore line on this side so now we have a cave which is a radius of six right here okay so when joining when drawing a cave which is going to join a line and a cave first of all you have to draw a parallel line which is the which is the distance which is equal to the radius of that cave so in this case the radius of that cave is six so open a canvas is six i'm going to draw a line which is parallel to this line so strike here and along with the line i'm going to strike another distance here yeah. okay and after that you draw a a line like this one okay and remember that cave is going to be an exterior cave to this circle so i'm going to say 120 which is the radius of this circle plus six and i'm going to get 100 126 126 okay and i'm going to come to the center point where you draw this line and i'm going to draw an arc and the point where that parallel line we have drawn meets the arc that we just strike is the center point of the cave which joins of the cave which joins the line and the circle okay so your pen I canvas in the radius of six using this center point draw an arc right here like this and from this point or doing the same thing again okay but you don't have a you don't have a straight line just you have two circles you have two circles so i just want to draw an exterior arc 
and that which is uh, it's an exterior arc so we're going to add the radius of that arc which is six but the radius of that circle which is 12 and i'm going that is going to to be 18 so bending at this center point strike an arc and the radius the distance of the radius the radius is 18 and i want to add the radius of of the curve it's going to join the second this shape but the radius of this curve so it's going to be 120 plus 12 and that is going to be that is going to be 120 plus 12 that's going to be 132 open a canvas at a distance of 132 132 then right here you construct an arc and the point where that arc intersects with the arc that we've drawn is the center point of the cave which is going to join those two circles so now open that and that is and four just to join as you can see now we have our diagram okay and the only thing that is left is to put the center lines I'm going to draw our center lines. This is our first center lines. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.